Good morning, my name is Sean and today I'd like to introduce to you the new Grand Sole LC46 from Cantiere del Pardo, the renowned Italian shipyard. As you can see, uh, a hydraulic ram is supporting this uh, extremely large baiting platform, which there's also a space for a ladder, which is all housed neatly in this position over here, where also the life raft can, can be stored. Interesting to point out is that in the case of an emergency, the yard has uh, come up with a safety device that you just pull a plug on the side and the whole transom will fall down without the need of any electrical intervention. Um, as you can see, the platform is very sturdy, quite large, and automatically, when you fold it down, this comfortable step also lowers automatically. We can show the movement here, how the whole system is working. We're now in the cockpit of this Grand Soleil LC46. The yard, which is renowned for various uh, options and customization, has come up with a number of, of uh, solutions so each owner can customize the cockpit to their needs. First and foremost, we offer two different types of uh, pods. There's a smaller one and a larger one, which accommodates more instruments. In this case, there's also a plotter, uh, Raymarine instrumentation, on each side, both port and starboard, and there's also a compass over here. The yard also offers another solution where a fixed table is installed in this area here, which can also house a 12-inch plotter and also act as a frigo um, uh, space. So really and truly, the cockpit becomes an excellent area for entertaining guests on board or just having a nice cocktail. One interesting feature which the Grand Soleil LC46 is showcasing is this bar panel bar here where most of the LED control lights for the cockpit and uh, boom lines and controls for the transom are out here. There's no need for, for the user to go up and down the companionway just to light, let's say, the deck light or to light the, the LED lights inside the cockpit. There's also a chain counter over here. So again, when it comes to anchoring, uh, it's all done single-handed. As I mentioned earlier, the boat is also equipped with uh, these safety kill cords, if you want, whereby uh, in the event of a power failure and you need to, to abandon the boat, in order to access the life raft, you just pull this, this cord over here and uh, you're able to lower the transom in, in manual mode, let's say, even without the need of any electrical um, uh, assistance. There's also a fuel shut valve, uh, which again is an extra uh, feature which, which, which provides uh, safety on, on board. I'd like also to point out that the boat is equipped with three automatic bilge pumps, one located uh, in the middle of the boat, one in bow and one in the stern, plus also a manual bilge pump. Uh, the bilge pumps, the electric ones, are both uh, automatic bilge pumps or can also be operated in manual mode. The operation of the bow thruster on this boat is quite unique. Instead of having toggles or joysticks over here, the art has come up with this neat plate where to just operate the bow thruster, you just press these buttons here. Naturally, on the side over there, we have the actual retractable function. Um, but then the actual operation to use during maneuvering, the buttons are extremely in a comfortable location and uh, are also very stylish, I have to say. As the Grand Soleil C46 is equipped with a self-tacking uh, system, there are no winches on the coach roof. All the uh, operational winches are located here, which are available in two sizes. Uh, the upgraded winches are a, a 50 in size and a 60 in size for, for the main. Both can be electrically operated. The yard is installing uh, Harken equipment and Harken hardware, which are also in, in available in two-speed mode. Um, it's quite a clean and neat solution because all the sheets and halyards are also housed in this box over here, which is standard from, from, from the factory. Uh, meaning that when uh, the boat is, is, is in port, it's a very clean and spacious cockpit. 
Cantiri del Pardo managed to create a lot of space on, on, on this vessel. And uh, over here we can see the amount of storage solutions which we have. There's a very deep locker over here to house the various kit available. On this side we have another locker which is slightly shallower, so this is normally used for what I would say day-to-day -day items, maybe storing a toolbox over here. And then we also have a proper lazaret, which is over here. One thing to point out is the extreme level of finish we have on this boat. Everything is on hydraulic rams. Um, and as you can see, lots of kit can be stored on the boat. This roll bar over here uh, is all made of carbon, which adds uh, strength, but at the, same at the same time is also addressing weight issues. Integrated into the roll bar, we have LED lights here, which also illuminate the cockpit where, whilst having dinner in the evening. Cantieri del Pardo are offering a lot of uh, options and customizations to meet the client's requirements. In this case, the owner had a request to have davits on the boat. Uh, their solution was a collapsible davits, which obviously can be extended when are required, however, can be retracted when uh, not in use. In this case, over here, they are in the retracted, in the extended position. And over here, they have been retracted, so then they're out of the way. Another clever solution which Cantier del Pardo have come up with is the way the shrouds are attached to the deck. As you can see, there is an excellent passageway which does not inhibit at all the walking through the boat. This makes walking on deck an extremely safe uh, operation. As a standard feature on, on the LC46, we have a self-tacking jib, which has, can be seen over here. The concept today is that self-tacking jibs are, are becoming extremely popular uh, on, on cruising boats, naturally because that makes the boat being able to be sailed single-handed. The boat can also be equipped with a furling mainsail, uh, and today we're installing even high-tech carbon furling sails from renowned brands, uh, whereby the excellent performance one manages to get from a furling mainsail is comparable to, to a slab reefing system, having the comfort that one person can actually handle the boat in total safety. One unique feature of this boat is this amazing solution, which uh, is, is featured only on the LC46, that the space here has been converted into a proper uh, deck area, meaning also we have a collapsible bimini, where when it's not in use, it's not uh, inhibiting any sail operation, um, because it totally collapses in its own space and track. At the same time, however, when in, in the open position, it provides an excellent sun lounging area. As we have here, um, uh, uh, we have a model here who's uh, you know, showing us how the system works. There's also back support, and uh, normally these features are available only in much larger boats. Whereas here, uh, I'd like to, rem to point out that we're still on a 46 foot boat. I'd like to show you the anchor area and the sail locker we have on the LC46. As you can see, the uh, chain is a free fall chain operation, which makes a safe operation to use. Um, besides that, we also have a very large sail locker, which when the anchor hatch is closed, as you can see, the sail locker is totally waterproof. There is this rubber seal over here, which is actually sealing the, the sail locker. On many boats, uh, the sail lockers are notorious to get wet, not in this case. One thing to also highlight is the level of finish we have even on the inside of the anchor door, and everything supported by uh, a hydro hydraulic piston, and also anchor controls are repeated over here. Uh, the yard that we have on this boat is offering boat solutions, uh, whereby you can control the anchor from here or also as we've seen earlier with the chain counter from the back. The LC46 comes with two options for jib furlers. This one over here is the standard furler 
and there is also an option for an uh, under deck furler. Also, the structure housing the deck furler and the anchor is in full carbon. Um, there is also the uh, attachment points for both the Jenniker and the Code Zero. But what's interesting to highlight is that the boat has a very clean bow, uh, yet all the anchor operation is, is absolutely not hindered when using any sails. The inside of the LC46 uh, is comparable to, uh, I would say, a 50 foot plus boat. Um, Nauta Design have managed to come up with a very interesting layout whereby we have a dedicated galley area, which we'll see into detail uh, in a few minutes. The city area on the LC46 can also act both as a chart table and at the same time can also be converted into a, a medinet place. So by simply moving a bar underneath, we can put down the table as I'm be showing you. And like that, it's more comfortable to have a lovely gin and tonic. The galley on the 46, uh, again, has been optimized to the maximum by now with the design. And uh, we have a full-size three burner oven in this, in this instance. That's excellent working space, both here and over here. We have a very good size fridge, which can also be a freezer up to minus four degrees over here as standard. And we also have an additional fridge in this position. We also have a dedicated double basin over here, and naturally in stainless steel and Corian tops. So it's an extremely functional galley in any type of weather, because even if there's some weather and you need to give your crew some a warm cup or, or some, some meal, passing food to the cockpit is a very easy operation. One of the special features on the LC46 is this bedding configuration whereby in this position you can have two individual beds and by simply moving this bed over here it becomes one single large bag. This is normally a feature where we see on boats which are on the 50 foot plus segment. The owner's cabin on the LC46 is an extremely wonderful space to be in. First and foremost, we have these two windows over here, which are in, in, in perfect harmony with the boat design. And also, when you're at anchor, you are directly on the water. There's excellent ventilation. We have a hatch here and another hatch here. I'd like to highlight the roof lining, how clean the roof lining is, and also the way all the uh, furniture is installed, everything in symmetry and in geometry. And uh, there's also excellent space for uh, the owner to, 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 to have its own space. One thing also to point out is the standard mattresses, which are supplied by the yard, which are memory foam mattresses and uh, extremely comfortable. The unsweet uh, shower and bathroom facilities on the LC46 are of generous proportions. Naturally, on this boat, one can equip, uh, can equip the boat with all the, the best comforts, including air conditioning, naturally, in this case, electric toilets. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction on the Grand Soleil LC46, and for any additional information, you may visit grandsoleil.net. <laughs>